Hi, this is Matt from tracingmatt.co.uk and here to arrive this morning courtesy of uh, Clove Technology I have the uh, new HTC Touch HD. Um, as you can see, HTC have done away with these funny shaped box that they had with the Touch Diamond and the Touch Pro um, which was plastic. Obviously this is now cardboard, more conventional with the magnetic catch on the front which opens up to reveal the Touch HD inside. We'll look at that in more detail in just a second. Just want to have a look at what else we have in the box. There's an inside box which has a number of bits and pieces in it. First of all we have a UK plug, a spare stylus which uh, is not telescopic, it's fixed length and quite weighty. We have a USB to mini USB cable which is pretty standard. There is the charger itself which is USB style. have a wired headset which is a three and a half mil jack four pole because it has an inline inline microphone just there which has a push button for releasing and uh, answering your calls and on the other end we obviously have the headphones which are pretty HTC standard um, which aren't too bad there's also um, a couple of foam covers for the headphones then we have a case which is like a soft almost um, suede uh, finish to it. It is lined, um, not bad, it's uh, you know, no clip, belt clip or anything like that, it is literally just a, a soft pouch. Uh, there's the battery which is pretty slim, it's 1560 mAh. Finally on the bottom of the box we have an 8 micro SD card which uh, I understand is supplied with all the versions even the uh, orange exclusive version will have an 8, 8 gig micro SD and uh, last of all in the main box we have the uh, manuals uh, as a screen protector uh, manuals getting started guide and a couple of CD-ROMs which include uh, the user manual on CD-ROM and also active sync getting started on, on CD ROM there. So let's so let's have a look at the HTC Touch HD. Um, let's peel off the screen protector. Interestingly, HTC have started putting these notices on uh, their devices to uh, prevent damage. Please don't have the device in your pocket when you sit down, or in actual fact, don't have it in your pants when you sit down. So clearly means something slightly different here in the UK to uh, to the US. Let's just put the battery in. Which goes in the back here. Get it around the right way. As so this is where a SIM card goes and a micro SD card. There's also a small reset button just in the back there. So uh, in order to press the reset button with the with the stylus, you do have to remove the back cover, um, which I think personally slightly defeats the object because uh, to be honest, if I'm going to remove the back cover, it's just as easy to remove the battery than to get the stylus out and to push that reset button. But hey ho. On the back, while we're looking there, then uh, there is a five megapixel autofocus camera, uh, which we'll look at in more detail with some of the shots. Um, say autofocus, no cover over it though, and unlike some of the other products that are coming out at the moment with actually lens cover, and uh, interestingly, no flash of any kind. And then there's a small grill over the loudspeaker there. So let's uh, look back to the front. We have uh, a forward-facing VGA camera for video conferencing and then also obviously the actual loudspeaker on the front there for uh, you know, in call. So then we have the HTC Touch HD's main feature which is the uh, 3.8 inch WVGA display which is 480 by 800 uh, a lovely generous display there. We have a uh, touch sensitive vet panel at the bottom which uh, includes the send and end phone keys, home and a back button um, although I say buttons, they're not physical buttons, they are just touch sensitive uh, area there. Looking down the left hand side we have a large up down rocker for volume control there is the USB or say mini USB connector on the bottom which is used for sync and charge. Uh, whether or not the HTC uh, headphones that you can get on other devices will work here we don't know um, and it's still slightly unclear as to whether or not there is a video out we suspect there isn't video out through there but 
we're not 100% sure, waiting for confirmation on that from HTC. Stylus slides in at the bottom. Again, as I say, fixed length stylus, not telescopic, quite weighty. Nothing else down the right hand side. And then just on top, we have, thankfully, a 3.5mm standard jack. So we can use any headphones with the Touch HD, which uh, is a real excellent thing. No adapters uh, required here. Then we've also got the power button. We've already looked at the back. So let's uh, turn the Touch HD on. And just uh, while, that, while it's starting up, let's just kill the lights and we can have a look at the screen a little bit more clearly. And while we're waiting for that to come on, let's just talk through the specification. As we know, Windows Mobile 6.1, professional with touch screen clearly. Uh, Qualcomm processor at 528 MHz. There's 288 MB of RAM and 512 MB of ROM. And if we just quickly run through the set up and uh, we'll just skip through all this as you can see that's a real nice size display there really generous for uh, on-screen dialer but I'll just wait for this to finish its customization setup and uh, we'll carry on talking about the specification. HSDPA 3G up to 7.2 megabits per second down and 2 megabits per second uplink. It's quad band for GSM, GPRS, and Edge. And that's 850, 900, 1800, and 1900 megahertz frequencies. Built in Wi Fi 802.11 BNG, Bluetooth 2 with uh, EDR and A2DP. Say so 3.5mm audio jack, which we've already mentioned. Built in GPS, uh, which is AG, AGPS ready, micro SD card, as I say, we mentioned on the back already. Um, that supports officially up to 16 gig uh, SDHC, but again, we suspect that 32 gig would probably work um, as and when they're available. Built in FM radio, as I say, touch sensitive buttons just below the display there. 5 megapixel camera, forward facing VGA camera. Dimensions for those of you that are interested is 115 millimeters from top to bottom, 62 or 63 millimeters nearest damn it um, wide, and then 12 millimeters thick. So quite slim as you can see there. Inevitably, people are going to compare this to the iPhone. A lot of people are actually already calling it the iPhone killer. So in comparison to the iPhone, we can see it's it's fairly similar in terms of size. The iPhone being slightly narrower there as you can see not a lot in it and uh, very slim similar in terms of actual thickness um, on paper they are very similar in terms of weight as well the iPhone's about 147 ish grams and the Touch HD is 156 uh, also interestingly the HTC are providing two-year warranties on many of their devices at the moment which is a, a real good thing to see um, as you know, obviously one year is pretty much standard and uh, let's uh, just compare to the Touch Diamond. As you can see it's quite a bit bigger, significantly wider than the uh, Diamond. Similar thickness. Uh, interestingly, it doesn't seem to be a lot of difference in terms of weight. The uh, Touch HD, obviously, that bit heavier, but not a great deal heavier. Okay, and finally after the customization has finished installing, we get to the TouchFlow 3D display, which is similar to that that we find on the Touch Diamond and the Touch Pro, but obviously this is the HD version. Um, immediately you can I can see that the screen is unbelievably clear. Um, that 800 by 480 is um, it's doing wonders with this display. Uh, and that 3.8 3 inch uh, diagonal, um, it's very generous. It's going to be great for watching movies. Let's just take a quick look through. Um, we have obviously the home, we have people so we can set up uh, favorite contacts. We have messages for text. Then we have email where various accounts can be added. Obviously, nothing here at the moment. Then we have internet which with uh, our browser, which is Opera 9.5. Then there's YouTube. They then have our stock quotes. I uh, wonder if that is uh, prompted by the inclusion of that within the iPhone. And have the camera videos and photos. 
and uh, we can actually zip through those and uh, tap on one as you can see there yeah, it's actually rotating when I do that obviously quite incorrectly in this case but that uh, as I say that display is unbelievably sharp and clear it's very impressed so let's go back we then have music and there are a couple of tracks already on the device in the ROM we have the weather uh, which you won't find just at the moment because there's no SIM card or Wi-Fi set up we have our settings again very similar to the uh, diamond uh, including an about at the bottom there which tells us the version that we're on and we can customize our tabs and we can rearrange their position set sound settings synchronization communications various other things and then we have our programs buttons now again this has evolved slightly from the touch diamond so instead of just having nine or so buttons on the instead of having the nine buttons there we actually have a list that we can scroll through and uh, we can obviously add programs there seem to be quite a few spaces there for various programs to be added and then we can go right back to the beginning what you obviously can't tell when I'm doing this is every time I touch the screen or use any of the buttons there is actually like a haptic feedback and there's a small sort of vibrate within the device every time I touch the screen um, if we just go into start menu have a look at the installed programs um, pretty standard stuff uh, from the face of it we can see that there's Google Maps there's Jet Set Print so that we can print via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth hopefully and you've got Windows Live interesting that's actually taking a little bit of a, a while to draw that part of the screen there and there it catches up we've got World Card Mobile which is an excellent application Remote Desktop is included FM Radio Quick GPS obviously Opera Browser MP3 Trimmer for making your ringtones uh, it'd be interesting to see whether or not um, Orange on their device remove Windows Live Messenger. Kind of suspect that they will. And if we go into the settings menu, again, very standard things for your buttons and inputs. You got your system menu, volume control, G sensor settings, external GPS settings, regional settings, touch flow 3D, Windows update, memory. Uh, nothing in here to actually mention the external TV connector as I say we don't think that it's capable but we are waiting for that to be confirmed finally on the connection screen you've got Wi-Fi uh, USB to PC advanced network settings com manager and com manager again very similar to that we find on diamond so overall great design so far um, it, you know, this is as far as I've played with the device uh, already I haven't had a look at it prior to now I'm going to be looking at it over the next couple of weeks um, but obviously we're going to have a review online as soon as we possibly can I'm going to be uh, sort of getting to grips with it the rest of today and over the next couple of days we'll have a review online for you thanks once again to Clove Technology for supplying us with a review device um, and as I say review will be online uh, rather soon